if you're traveling by yourself, there are certain things you really need to do to protect your safety on the road. I'm Desiree Miller with Traveling Mom. One of those things that you need to do needs to happen before you even leave town, and that is to get your car into the shop and get an oil change. That way, when the oil is being changed, you can ask them to check all your other fluids, including uh, transmission fluid, windshield wiper fluid, things like that to make sure the car is operating at its top performance. You also can ask them to check your brake pads to make sure you're going to be able to stop properly when, need to, when you need to. And you can personally check your tires, uh, check the treads to make sure that they're where they need to be, and check the tire pressure. That's easy enough. Then you also should make a route for yourself. Go ahead and plan out how you're going to get to where you're going and share that route with somebody else so that if something happens to you along the way, someone else knows where you are and when you're supposed to arrive. When you do arrive, make sure you call them so they know you made it safely. If you don't call, give them instructions to go ahead and call emergency services or to let somebody else know that you may not be okay. One other thing to happen or to take during the trip uh, that, that's really key is try to take a vehicle that includes navigation. Chevrolet loaned me this vehicle. It's the Chevy Equinox. Uh, for a road trip I recently took for an uh, eight-hour trip on the road, I set the navigation before I left, and it was great because on the way down there, if there was heavy traffic from an accident or if there was construction on the road, the navigation system let me know that in advance, and I could plan around it if I wanted to or I could sit through it if I wanted to. Another really neat thing, my favorite feature about this vehicle was uh, I ran low on gas at one point, and I wasn't even aware of it. I was kind of in my zone driving along the road, and the car started to beep, and the navigation system alert told me that I was low on fuel. Not just that, it told me where I could get fuel nearby. That, to me, is the best perk. I know that a lot of other people are comparing the engine and the comfort. For me, that kind of um, heads up is fabulous as a mom because I do. I get in my zone and I don't always pay attention to how much gas I have left. In this case I was kind of panicked because it was really early in the morning and I wanted to be sure I stopped at a safe place. Uh, and this was really key because it gave me a couple of different options. If I didn't like the gas station that I pulled up to next, I could I knew how far, much further I needed to go to get to another gas station. That was my favorite feature of this car. If you have features like this, in a vehicle when you're taking your road trip. That will be helpful in making sure that you arrive safely. But also, do keep in mind that you need to be smart about where you're going, when you leave, when you get there, and making sure that other people are aware of where you are. Have a safe trip.